Hey folks, we are now releasing some videos to help newbies like us. We are newbies, we are in the road for three months now. And we learned so many things in these three months. We are bringing this video, first RV tips and tricks for newbies. We are bringing 10 essentials for newbies. So let's dig in. We've been in five campgrounds since living full time in RV. Five campgrounds, two of them, they have trouble in the ground, in the electric pedestal. And this thing here prevents us to be in trouble, both of them. And I really recommend this, this brand here, Power Watchdog. You have an app, links via Bluetooth, and you can see anything and everything that's going on there. Even you can, you can measure the amperage and how many, how many power you use in a certain time. It's very nice. And if something's wrong with your pedestal or if your electric is coming from the pedestal, it shuts down. It doesn't go all the way to the rig. It goes red and shows in the app what's the problem there. So this thing here is a must have. Stock water now. There are two items here that I wanna talk about. The first one, is the water regulator. Sometimes you have so much pressure in this uh, water coming from the, the city that can damage the, the interior of your tanks and, and tubes and, and pipes. They, they recommend you to, to be between 30 and 50 psi. So here you have a easy access to with a screwdriver to go up and down in the psi here. You just open before you connect, you see how much PSI is coming. If it's too much, you just regulate down. If it's too little, you regulate up, and then you prevent damage in your, in your pipes and things. The second thing is the water filter, especially if you are drinking from those water. We don't, but even though we don't, we use for cleaning, to use you know, our personal hygiene. So we use this. They recommend you to replace every three, four, four months. We're going to replace that soon, but it's been very nice. We love it and the water is always clean and any smell or any, any color, different color. So that's, those two are a must have. We didn't have the hose support here. And what happened is when the, when this hose, when it goes down to the ground and goes up again to the hole, then accumulate water, whatever it has inside. And then it's a mess you have to do manually and it's not good. So right now we do have the support from the tanks and it's going slowly but surely down all the way to the hole and that makes no problem to the, the whole thing goes down. The other thing is very important is when you have your hose, try to have a clear head here. So you can, you can visually see what's going on and when it's over, it's over. You don't have to guess, you don't have to pull up and then it's gonna be a mess. So clear head here is a must have as well as the support for the hose. So most of the newbies, they don't have a fifth wheel with a huge kitchen that they can just do whatever they want inside. In our case, we have a very, very small kitchen and sometimes it's tough to go around, no? especially with a baby around, you don't want knives, forks falling. Also, when you are cooking inside, you are using your propane and it smells. The food cooking smells. So. We are taking advantage of the electricity using the electrical power from the campground and saving some propane. And also, we have more space here. So, one thing that we is very helpful we have is having one of those one of those foldable tables. They are very important. So you easily fold and put in some storage. Here we have a little setup. For kitchen, I'm gonna bring in another video what things we like to use in our outside kitchen. I'm just heating some water. To have some dishwashing outside, so this is a very important thing. We use this a lot. If you are camping, in the in the summer this is a must-have if you saw the struggle we had in New Jersey with the mosquitoes and flies oh my god for the first month and a half we didn't have one of those we tried to buy but we failed like you need a canopy with a net you can enjoy the outside and make the mosquitoes away so summer camping, canopy with a net is a must have. Also, when it suddenly starts to rain, you can put everything 
from your campground that you don't want to wet inside the canopy and secure from the rain it doesn't secure hundred percent but it's better than nothing sometimes you don't have the space inside the rig so you can put inside the canopy and even wrap with some type of mat or something this is also very help prevent things to get wet so canopy is a must-have especially if a net the other day we saw in a campground a guy cleaning his sewer hose and put it on top of one of those picnic tables this thing here it's easy in and out you can wash it's not machine washable because i think it's plastic so but this is easy easily washed with a hose soap and, and a sponge but you need that you don't want to put your food and your utensils in a thing that maybe someone put some sewer hose you must have now let's talk about levels our first trip back in april little trip we did we bought like 10 of those bad boys although it was not enough the place we stayed was not leveled at all and we find ourselves short in levels buy enough of them because when you are in an unlevel spot the feeling to be in an unlevel rig is not great i'll tell you doors doesn't close things in the table they roll it's a mess you know and even if you are if you have a, a propane fridge or a hybrid propane and electric fridge and you need to use the propane if they are not very very level it can be trouble for the fridge to keep up you know by the knob of those but pretty much has two types we bought those one first and we learned very fast that accumulates dirt and water sometimes and then bugs can get inside so I really prefer those see it's easy to to clean uh, doesn't accumulate that uh, as much dirt and water I prefer those than this this one here levels buy enough of them outside rugs are a must-have as well very often you have gravel in your camping spot and it's not very pleasant to be stepping barefoot in those things so it's very nice to have a soft surface in between your feet and the rocks sometimes those things here are very good because they don't get wet so if it's rainy or something you don't wet your feet or your shoes you can put your shoes uh, on top of it messy they are so easy to clean just do this shake 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 good to go clean as new and they are very easy to very easy to storage too so those are a must-have this was part one 10 essential products for newbies in the rv life we are gonna have a part two with 10 more next week stay tuned consider subscribing and if you like the video press the thumbs up what is the uh, missing product that you think is essential too write down below that's all for now folks see ya ciao